In this video, we're going to get Neo Geo emulation set up on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. Neo Geo CD, I, a system I would love to collect more games for, but prices are just way too expensive now. It's absurd. Actually, I'd honestly like to own even a Neo Geo CD system, but currently I own one game for Neo Geo CD, and that is Metal Slug 2. So I have relied fully on emulation to play it over the last couple of years. And it even works on the Xbox version of RetroArg. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that set up. So let's dive in. Now, the first step to getting Neo Geo CD emulation up and running on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch is to install the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. So if you haven't done so already, install it using one of my guides provided here. You can do it in dev mode, retail mode, doesn't matter. You might also be interested in moving your system folder and other folders like your save folder over to USB. So a link to this playlist will be in the description below. Get it set up, come back here and follow along. Next, we need a copy of the Universe BIOS that is used with Neo Geo CD systems and emulation. Now, I included it in my Xbox RetroArch Files folder, so if you set up using my guide, you've already downloaded this folder, you might have already placed the BIOS file, but if not, here is the link in the description below on how to get this file pack again, but get it downloaded. And once you have it downloaded, just get it extracted. And inside the folder, you'll see a number of different folders. The one we're interested in is the Neo CD folder. And inside, you'll find the Universe BIOS. So we just need to copy this Neo CD folder into our RetroArch system folder. So if you're running your system folder off of USB, go ahead and open up your USB drive and your computing device of choice. Go into your system folder and drag the Neo CD folder right on in. I already had it there, so I'm just going to tell it to overwrite. Or if your system folder is still on the Q drive, open up Durango FTP over on your Xbox and start the FTP server. Now using your FTP method of choice, access your Xbox's file share, local folder, RetroArch folder, local state folder, system folder, and drag the Neo CD folder right on in. I already had it there too, so I just told it to overwrite again. And done. Next, we need to source Neo Geo CD games. Again, I have one Neo Geo CD game, and that is Metal Slug 2. If you have a physical collection of Neo Geo CD games, you can dump those using the PC version of RetroArch, and I have a video guide on how to do so. Link will be in the description below to this one. And hey, look at that, it's my copy of uh, Metal Slug 2 running on Neo CD. Hooray. Or alternatively, you could always resort to the shady parts of the net to download these. I really don't give a crap which way you do it, but don't ask me for illegal download links because I will not provide them. But once you have your Neo Geo games sourced and ready to go, we just need to add them to our preferred storage medium. So if you're using a USB drive under dev mode or retail mode, just put it on that into your games folder. Or if you're in dev mode and want to use an S drive install, you can access your Xbox's FTP server again, go into the S drive, program files, windows, apps... Find your RetroArch folder at the X64 at the end, go to the games folder you created, and drag them right on in. But with the BIOS file and games placed, we're ready to move over to the Xbox. So back over on the Xbox, I got my USB drive in place, and I'm ready to begin loading up some Neo Geo content. So the way I like to do this is to make a games playlist. So I go down to Import Content, and then down to Manual Scan. From here, you'll navigate to the directory you have your games stored. So if you are using USB under dev mode, it'll be under E, retail mode will be under D, and if you stored them on the internal SSD, they'll be under that S drive path. Just navigate to where you stored yours. So for me, E games, Neo Geo CD games, scan this directory. Next for the system name, just press right on your D-pad to go down to SNK here and find Neo Geo CD. Default core, same thing, right on the D-pad till you get to SNK and find Neo CD. Now, since our games are likely to be in bin Q format, or you convert them to chud, I guess, um, you might need to set a file extension here if you're using bin Q like I am. So, I'm going to set an extension for Q. And I'm going to make sure scan recursively is on, because my games are separated into subfolders, and I'm going to tell it to start the scan. And now I have a new Neo Geo CD playlist here on the left, with Metal Slug 2 inside, and I'm just going to tell it to run. So, it will boot into the Neo Geo CD BIOS screen here, and you're going to want to press your B button to activate 
this menu here. It won't actually start the games yet. Anyways, go ahead and press your back button on your Xbox controller to bring up the Universe BIOS menu. And now from here you're free to choose which type of region you want your Neo Geo CD emulation to be running in. So Japanese, US, European, or Brazil. I like to run my stuff as a US system, even if it might have censoring. I don't need to hear your thoughts about that in the comment section. Yes, I know that US region stuff is censored. I don't care. That's just my choice. You play your games how you want to play yours, I'll play mine how I want to play mine. And once you have the region set, go ahead and move down to System, and change this from Top Load over to CDZ. And once you have the option set, go ahead and press the X button on your Xbox controller. It will reboot the Neo Geo CD emulation. And now your Neo Geo CD games will come up and be playable, so just press the Start button to start them up. And there we go, Metal Slug 2 running on an Xbox Series X and S. So fun. And there we go, game plays like an absolute champ, I say as we get massive hardware induced lag. Uh, anyway, so for those of you looking to get Neo Geo CD emulation set up on your Xbox consoles, that is the process to do so. So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the more advanced core options available to us within the Neo CD RetroArch Core. So go ahead and open up your RetroArch Quick Menu by holding down the Start button. Scroll down to Options. And our first option is to choose a region. This isn't as necessary here since we're able to select that in the Universe BIOS anyway. But you can go ahead and set it here again if you want to. Next, you could select a BIOS. My guide is only using the Universe BIOS, but if you have other Neo Geo CD BIOS files, you can choose between them here. CD speed hack and skip CD loading. Leave these on, otherwise you're going to be waiting a minute, or three, or five, to load up your Neo CD games. They're really slow. And our last option is per game saves. The Neo Geo internal save memory isn't that big, so if you have a large Neo Geo CD collection, you could run out of space, so I'd recommend turning this option on. And that's going to do it as far as Neo Geo CD options are concerned. Not much here. Makes it nice and easy. And there we go, Neo Geo CD emulation on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. As always, if you happen to have any questions on how to get setup done, feel free to ask in the comment section below. But now if you could all do me a couple of huge favors here, it really helps us out. First up, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos like this go live on the channel. Goes a long way to helping us keep it growing, that way we can bring more content to all of you. And if you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube, or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping us going, and providing further update videos for RetroArch and all of our other random content. Big thank you to all of our current backers for believing in what we do, and for all of the support that has been given over the years. Y'all are amazing. Can't do it without any of you. Thank you. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, and we will see you back next video.